today we're going to finish painting our sloth supply cup. Now, if you did not finish painting your sloth's fur or face last time, that should be the first thing you do. If you did finish it, then we're going to start painting our cup. So you have to start by choosing your color. And I'm just going to choose one simple color to paint my cup today. I'm not going to put a bunch of designs and different colors on there because I sort of want it to be like a simple background to make my sloth stand out. So once again, I'm going to choose a couple different size brushes because in some areas I'm going to need to use a larger brush so that I can cover the area more quickly. Like maybe this space here or on the inside. I need to cover it kind of more quickly. I don't need to use a detail brush. But once I get close to my sloth, I might want to trade brushes so that I can very, very carefully get as close to my sloth as I can without hopefully getting too much of the cup color on my sloth. So I'm just going really slow when I get to these areas. I'm taking my time. There's no need to rush because we have the whole class time today to try to do a really, really good job on this part. So I'm just gonna keep on going, covering up as much of my cup area as I can. Now I might not be able to get to every single little tricky area that's down in corners of my sloth, but that's okay. I'm just gonna get as much of my cup as possible. And this is also a really good opportunity to cover up any of the sloth paint that got on your cup. This nice thick temper paint should cover it right up. So I'm just gonna keep on going until all of my white is covered. Okay, so after our fun little challenge to see how much of our cup we can get painted, we're going to do a couple things to make sure that our cup looks really, really great. First of all, if there are any globs of paint that are left on your cup, we're going to go back and try to smooth those out because when they dry, they will leave a bump. So we're going to try to make our paint as smooth as possible without any lumps left in it. Also, if there's any places that look like it needs a second coat of paint, like if the paint looks a little bit thin and you can sort of see the white clay through there and the color doesn't look very even, I can go back and add a little more color on top to really, really make that paint nice and bright. Now the last thing that we can do to really make sure that our sloth is the best that it can be is if you've got any of your cup color on your sloth, what you can do at the very, very end is very carefully clean your brush. When your brush is clean, you can get some sloth colored paint, dip just a little bit in there, and that thick temper paint should cover up any little mistakes. Now this might not be exactly the same color as the sloth that you painted last time, so just try to use it in the areas where you made mistakes, and that's all. You don't need to cover the whole sloth with this. And of course, I now have to be careful that I'm not getting my brown paint on my blue cup. So it's sort of a tricky little process, but we just do our best. We just do our best. When you have your sloth and your cup painted, we're gonna leave them to dry. 